and welcome to Star Wars Day. May the 4th be with you. So today is a collab created by Christie's Corner and we are just talking about Star Wars. We're talking about our favorite Star Wars movie and just our favorite Star Wars things in general. So let's get started. very honest with you, I am very new to the whole loving Star Wars thing. I wasn't a big fan of Star Wars growing up. Um, I think mainly because my dad didn't like it. And if you know how that works in the house, if dad doesn't like it, it's not on the TV. I mean, really, even when I watch some of my Disney movies like Pocahontas or Mary Poppins or Breadknobs and Broomsticks, dad in another room to take a nap. Dad ruled the TV. That's just how it works. So I'm relatively new to the Star Wars universe, but in the past 12, 15, however many years that I've been married, Sam has introduced me to the Star Wars franchise and I have really enjoyed them. And then of course, recently with Disney Plus and Baby Yoda, I mean, who doesn't love Baby Yoda? Baby Yoda, I mean, I have a Sensi buddy that I'm getting in July that is Baby Yoda. I am super excited about that. But anyway, so of my, of all of the Star Wars movies, I would have to say that I actually like all of them. And I know that there's so many um, people who are like, oh, well, only, um, only the original trilogy are any good. Or only, there's people who only like the um, prequels. Or there's only people who like the newer stuff. I kind of like it all. Just because they all tell a story, and I love that aspect of them. So, here are my reasons why I like all of them. I love to hate Jar Jar Binks. Jar Jar Binks annoys me on so many levels, but, you know, you find yourself quoting him. Me, Jar Jar Binks! I mean, really. Sam and I do it all the time. Um, And then... You know, when Howard was alive, he was always talking about how Disney ruined um, the newer, like, the newer releases of the, I think it's The Emperor Strikes Back, where, like, they re-digitized, like, and added in a young um, Anakin Skywalker. Um, Return of the Jedi. Thank you to Sam for that. Return of the Jedi, whatever. Um, I tell you, I am new, to, I am really new to Star Wars, and so I'm not quite sure where, like, how it all works together. I know Baby Yoda, that's, that's almost completely it. Um, but, like, uh, Hayden Christensen, who plays Anakin Skywalker in the, the prequel set of number two and number three, um, a couple of my girlfriends in high school just thought he was the bee's knees, and so I think I watched them in high school, but I'm pretty sure that they bugged me, and so I was reading a book. What can I say? I was a bookworm, and I wasn't really into Star Wars. Um, so as far as the original trilogy goes, I think Carrie Fisher did such a good job in a movie that was so predominantly about, like, the, like, the guys. She was over here like, yeah, hey, I'm the princess, but, you know, she wasn't like, ooh, I'm the princess, come save me. The only reason she needed saved was because her ship got captured, or she got captured. I'm really not quite sure how she ended up with Darth Vader. I still haven't figured that out. If somebody actually knows, please let me know in the comments, and I swear Sam is on the floor, like, smacking himself in the head, because I, I'm sorry, I don't get it. <laughs> But Carrie Fisher did such a good job in those. And then, I mean, how can you not love R2-D2 and C-3PO? I mean, they argue like they're a little married couple. I mean, they're always like, beep, 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 beep. And then C-3PO's over here like, well, that was rude. And, you know, like, it's a whole bunch of beeps. How do you understand it? But then Luke could understand R2-D2. I don't get it. I, 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 apparently I don't know enough about it. They also speak Klingon. <laughs> I'm not talking about Big Bang Theory. I am talking about Star Wars. <laughs> yes, yeah, Klingon is Star Trek, though. So I was throwing a bone for you, a bad one, but there you go. <laughs> that wasn't helpful. Now I'm even more confused. Mm -hmm. Um, we did. Sam and I did go to see Rogue One in the theater, and I will. Um, I will say I bawled at the like. 
when everything explodes and like they die, I like was bawling in the movie theater. And there were got like everyone around was like, oh, isn't that that was so cool? And I'm like bawling, like mascara eyeliner running down my face, and people are looking at me like, what is her issue? I'm like it was so sad, and they're just like, oh my gosh, this chick's weird. <laughs> and then The Mandalorian, I I've watched it, but. I'm sorry. I kind of, I just, I was, I'm there for Baby Yoda. You know how they have, like, I need a shirt that says, I'm just here for Baby Yoda. Because, I mean, in the end, I think that's, that's the best. <laughs> um, I am very lucky that, um, in the house fire, that some of Howard's Star Wars items were able to be saved. And they, they haven't, Dad hasn't um, gotten them out quite yet. The only thing that I know that Dad has gotten out and kind of cleaned up a little bit is in a Monopoly game um, that Howard had. It's from, I think... Episode 1. The, uh, like, episode... Not episode 4, but, like, episode, episode one, 1. 1, episode 1. Um, and so, at some point, um, I'm ho I'm Dad's kind of trying to make decisions on who's getting what. And, um, of course, you know, Mike and Howard both grew up. Mike is my other older brother. Um, of course, like, with the Star Wars stuff, I 100% think that Mike should get, like, first dibs on that kind of stuff, but I'm not quite sure that he would really want the Monopoly, so I'm guessing the Monopoly will get in, be in my hands eventually, but the one Star Wars thing that I do have is I do actually have a Monopoly. Sam and I have been playing it. Um, it is a, a 1996, um, limited edition Monopoly. We actually ended up buying it off of eBay about a year or two ago. And it's, um, collector's edition. It's actually numbered. It's number 7,868 of, um, 12,000, uh, 122796, however that rounds out. I'm not good at math. But it's been really fun to play. Um, you, there's, um, there's both the Rebellion and the Resistance. And, um, you can decide, like, based on your character for, like, the houses and stuff. So, like, I'm playing as Princess Leia, and Sam is playing as Darth Vader. Um, and I'll, I'll show you, I've got, like, some of the pieces right here. Like, my houses are this little light gray color with, I think it's, what, TIE Fighter? Yes. No. No. Yours are light, so they're, uh... X-Wings. X-Wings. X -wings. So they have little X-Wings on them. And then Sam is playing as Darth Vader and has a dark gray on the dark side, but they have the little TIE Fighter. I'll get it right eventually. And then, um, they have, like, actual... The pieces were already open when we got it. So here's my Princess Leia. And, um, here is Darth Vader. But, like, we didn't open... It was all open when we got it, so we, we had no problems playing, like using them. If, like, they hadn't been open, we probably wouldn't have. But, like, the money, the money is all, it's all the same design, just in one, like, regular Monopoly denominations. And then, there is the Rebel Alliance and the Imperial. So, it's been really fun. Um, Sam is currently beating me, um, because, he, uh, ended up with blow both, um, Boardwalk and Park Place, um, in regular Monopoly, the two dark blue ones. And he has two, and he owns that whole side, and he's got two houses on each one. So, I actually own more property than he does currently, but it, you know, when he, when I land on one of his, I'm, like, forking over five, six hundred bucks. He lands on one of mine, he's paying me, like, fifty. So. That's fair. Totally not fair. Thank you very much from the peanut gallery. So I hope you enjoyed this May the 4th collab video. Um, check out Perfectly Cat and Christy's Corner and Life with Roxana. Um, they also have videos up for today. Thank you so much for watching and we will see you in the next video. Bye!